Welcome to the safety toolbox talk regarding powered industrial trucks. Um, in this course, um, we'll discuss the importance of safe operation and responsibilities of a professional lift truck operator and the skills and techni techniques you can use to ensure safe operation and incident prevention. Uh, we'll also cover things uh, such as safety and accountability, which accountability is huge regarding powered industrial trucks. Um, because you have to have that ownership and that responsibility, just like driving a car on the road. Um, your life can be in someone else's hands. You got to make sure that when you're operating that in the workplace, that you're doing it diligently. Um, you're being careful. Um, and the biggest culprit to many uh, workplace injuries, accidents, deaths, etc., involving power industrial trucks is carelessness. Um, so, like I said, safety and accountability. Accountability is the consequences, either positive or negative, for your performance. Um, and we always preach, we always want to make sure safety um, is a part of every action that we perform. So just a little background, um, nearly one million powered industrial trucks are used in the workplace today. They're produced in many different sizes and models and can help us perform a wide variety of tasks, whether you have a forklift, um, a genie boom, anything like that. Uh, while these machines assist us in lifting and moving heavy loads, um, they can also be extremely dangerous to operate. Um, each year, PITs account for more than 100,000 injuries and over 100 deaths. Um, to prevent accidents that result in personal injury and property damage, forklift operators must possess the physical and mental uh, ability to operate this equipment safely on a daily basis. Um, Three basic areas of forklift safety that are going to be covered. Um, characteristics, operations, limitations of the vehicle that's in use. Um, hazards due to the characteristics of the area where the lift truck will be operated. Um, and then the general safety rules that apply to all power industrial trucks in operation. Um, and you get that through this training course, um, as well as uh, referencing the OSHA uh, standard. Um, Main causes, forklift accidents, injuries um, that we're going to be going over uh, more in depth include um, most people that are working around forklifts and power industrial trucks are aware of their presence, um, but they may be become involved in an accident when a lift truck travels in a direction that they didn't expect. Um, so we'll go over things that um, help prevent that and on, on both ends, whether you're the pedestrian or you're the, the, the operator uh, himself. Uh, and then operator in inattention, like I mentioned, um, the biggest culprit being carelessness. Um, block vision, blind intersections, often factors involved in that, um, and forkli forklifts uh, running over pedestrians. So kind of a, a structure of the course. Um, <clears throat> um, introduction, um, which is pretty basic, like I just kind of went over, and then the goal of the program um, to provide a training program based on the trainee's prior knowledge. Types of vehicles used in the workplace and the hazards of the workplace. So um, obviously hazards and, and workplace conditions aren't the same across the board. So we'll, we'll go through what power industrial trucks that are, are in, in um, the specific workplace and then the hazards around um, the, uh, the work environment that we can uh, go over and, and um, go over ways to mitigate that and, and be aware of. Um, we'll also utilize a, a training video that um, will demonstrate and um, also encourage group discussion and then hands-on practice, which is the, the big portion of it, making sure that um, these operators can um, operate them efficiently, effectively, um, and, and all aspects of that. Um, each operator <clears throat> must obtain the knowledge and skills needed to do their job correctly and safely. Obviously, if you're in this course right now, it's not guaranteed you're going to pass and be able to operate a PIT. Um, we got to make sure that you you show your skills and, and um, you uh, demonstrate proper uh, PIT safety and, and operating skills. Uh, we'll go over types, features, and physics. Uh, familiarize each operator with the basic types and functions of PITs. Um, develop an understanding of the information shown um, on the data plate on the PIT, like in this case, forklift, uh, genie boom. Um, understand critical truck measurements that affect safety. Um, understand forces that cause tip overs, the truck design considerations, and safety ratings that help prevent them, um, including the stability triangle, which we'll get into uh, in depth. Um, and then inspecting the vehicle. This is huge. Starting off the day, starting off your shift, um, prior to getting on. 
um, or in the Paradise Show truck, um, understanding the importance of and the purpose of uh, pre-operational checkouts, um, providing a basic understanding of area areas covered during a pre-operational checkout, making sure you know what's covered, what to cover, what to look for, stuff like that, um, and then familiarize each operator with a checklist for, uh, for the pre-operation inspect inspections. Uh, and what to do if a problem is discovered, who to go to, who to report it to, and then making sure you're not operating it, obviously, with if there's something going on with it. Um, and then driving the truck, like I mentioned, hands-on, um, understanding the elements of safe movement of a PIT, um, understanding the differences between a automobile and a power industrial truck. M many people think that it's they go hand-in-hand, hand, and if you can do one, you can do the other, but that's, that's certainly not the case. Um, recognize safety hazards associated with operating a power industrial uh, truck, which we'll go over. Um, and then another big one, load handling, um, understanding the elements of load lifting safety, um, safe operating procedures for raising and lowering uh, loads and aisles and, and, and stuff like that. So that is the basic uh, layout outline of the course. Um, just giving you a little tidbit of what we're going to be getting into, some of the things we're going to be covering. Um, so yeah, look forward to getting started.